Hi, I'm Janice Ince. I'm a managing director at Pantheon Ventures based in San Francisco. There's been a lot of press about how we have not had the best COVID recovery. Um, while exaggerated, there is a lot of truth uh, in that statement. And as a city, we have put a lot of faith in AI to help us through this. Now, as an infrastructure investor, I'm doubling down on my optimism that AI will create opportunities. Obviously, this will create enormous tailwinds for data centers, but let's take it a step farther. What do data centers need? Power, and in many cases, water. A researcher from UC Riverside recently said that each chat GPT conversation uses up a 16 ounce bottle of water. Now this will be mitigated over time because a lot of these data centers are putting in place conservation methods, um, looking at waterless technology and other options but there will still continue to be a water resource constraint. That presents some opportunities for water infrastructure. Even more so is the power problem. For the past decade, we've been so concerned about sustainable energy and making sure that we're shifting to a carbon neutral society. With the constraints that we have now, based on the demand that we're seeing from data centers and electrification, we don't have that luxury anymore. So we're just looking at getting any kind of power. And even that, looks pretty scary right now. We're investors in Cyrus One and they all their new data centers are going to have waterless technology. Um, but otherwise, before that, people were putting data centers in only near where they can get water rights and power. Here's the flip side to this though. The waterless cooling actually necessitates more power. So there is a little bit of a trade-off there. I saw a stat recently that US data centers by 2030 will be the sixth largest power consumer by country. This will create opportunities for power plants that are existing to either add on renewables facilities or storage, because one of the key issues with renewables and data centers is their lack of reliability. So beyond storage and transmission and interconnections and grid stability, we also have an enormous opportunity in energy efficiency projects. So the energy efficiency has actually helped to keep our power demand over the past decade to be very stable. LED lights actually have created a big decrease in the usage of electricity in households. So as we see more technology advances in energy efficiency, smart metering, district energy, et cetera, um, we should be able to try to meet these needs of power, but it is still a daunting task. So I went to the direct source and asked AI itself, ChatGPT told me to meet the projected power demands of data centers in the US, it involves several factors and challenges. One is infrastructure investment. So that sounds very good for all of us in this community. The second is renewable energy expansion, also energy efficiency measures and grid modernization. It also will need a lot of regulatory support. We are seeing this from the IRA but there will be additional needs as more and more power is needed in the space. And finally, demand response, encouraging participation in demand response programs among data centers will really help balance all of the peak period demand needs. So a lot of challenges still exist, but again, a lot of opportunities for infrastructure investment.